At the age of 16, Jenny Lee Wright, known as the sexiest stooge, was not so sexy in the beginning of her career, especially when she decided to drop out of school. That decision marked the beginning of the end or the end of the beginning. You're about to find out. Hey, this video is going to reveal some facts about her that are rather not so pleasant. But before we get to the video, I've noticed only a small percentage of people that watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking the video, would you consider subscribing? It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Secretive about her childhood. Even though Jenny was always open and willing to showcase her skills to her viewers by appearing in films like The Triple Echo and Madhouse, she wasn't quite as open when it came to her childhood. Now, unlike other actresses who are usually excited to share details about their childhood and past experiences to enable their audience to get to know them better, Jenny Lee Wright shared absolutely nothing about her parents, siblings, or her experiences as a child. She always found a way to bypass questions about her past or her family members. From the year she started acting in 1970 up until 2004, she never spoke about her personal life even when her audience expressed their desire to know about her family background. And she didn't tell them that for reasons best known to her. Even now, no records hold any information about her immediate family and the events that occurred before she began pursuing her career. For someone who was an extremely popular actress in the 70s, it's a bit shocking that she managed to keep certain information from the media. However, her portrayal of funny, interesting characters in movies is one of the ways that she stays connected with her diehard fans. They may not have much information about her past, but they do know a lot about her from the sides of her that she is willing to share through her on-screen performances. She dropped out of school to learn dancing. Now, every Hollywood entertainer has a story about how they came to the realization that they wanted to pursue a career in show business. Jenny may not have shared her story to the world, but she revealed that as soon as she discovered her passion for dancing, she left school with the aim of searching for ways to arm herself with the right qualifications as a dancer. She was only 16 at the time, but she was sure that she wanted to learn professional dancing. Today, most people know her as the phenomenal 1970s actress who appeared mostly in comedy performances with comedians like Dick Emery, Spike Milligan, Tommy Cooper, and Benny Hill. She's also known for her famous portrayal of Christine in the 1972 British drama film The Triple Echo and her amusing portrayal of Carol Clayton in the 74 horror film called Madhouse. She dropped all these amazing performances through her career, most of her audience were not aware that she started off originally as a dancer. In fact, after she left school, she enrolled in Ballet Rambert, one of the leading British dance companies at the time, where she trained for a couple of years before joining a French cabaret. Now, the truth about her past endeavors might come as a shock to people who are only aware of the actress that she eventually evolved into. She never stayed in one place for too long in her teens. So Jitty Lee Wright spent most of her teen years on the road. After she learned how to professionally dance at Ballet Rambert, she began to look for entertainment groups that she could become a part of that would serve as a platform for her to sharpen her skills and put her dancing to practice. She was also willing to perform in different places like nightclubs and hotels, casinos and restaurants to showcase her skills and expose herself to opportunity. After searching for a while, she was selected to join a French cabaret group which was already established at the time. The group consisted of people with a variety of skills like singing and dancing, acting. They all came together to form a powerful force. So at the age of 17, Jenny became an official part of the group and she was said to be one of the best dancers in the group. She traveled to different parts of the world with the group as they all rendered soulful theatrical entertainment to their audiences in different parts of the world. Going to the world at such a young age enabled her to gain exposure and build her confidence. The exploration that she experienced also shaped her into becoming the great actress and dancer that she is now known as. Jenny and her role trap. So Jenny Lee Wright was one of the young actresses that the English actor and comedian Benny Hill selected to be in his TV comedy show, The Benny Hill Show. The roles that she played in the show were the first few roles she received when she started initially acting. 
However, even though the roles officially launched her into the movie industry, they came with some challenges. Her characters were often that of a comedian's sexy stooge who practically acted as a puppet for the comedian. While this was funny and exciting for the audience, it also shaped how she was viewed by people who watched her. After appearing on the show for a while, she became widely called the sexiest stooge, a name that reflected the nature of her character on The Benny Hill Show. However, soon enough, viewers began to see her as a sex symbol, and it was difficult for her to get any roles other than that of a comedian stooge after that. She even attracted the attention of several other comedians like uh, Morecambi and Wise, Frank Howard, and others who were more delighted to work with her. She continued to play her roles cheerfully and despite the effects of her roles, seemed to enjoy the characters she was given, and that was what mattered to her at the time. Over the next few years, she continued to appear on screens as a stooge, and the role came with some side effects. The truth about Jenny's relationship life. So in the entertainment industry, nine out of 10 actresses get married multiple times. It's very rare to find an entertainer who's never gotten married or one who's not in a relationship with a co-star. That's why it's shocking that Jenny Lee Wright never spoke about being in a relationship all through her career, even today. She's not publicly revealed any partner or potential partner. It's almost as though she's never been in a relationship. However, over the years, rumors have circulated in the media about certain people that she may have been privately involved with, but she never came out to confirm or deny the rumors. Maybe she's just chosen to keep this part of her life private as well. Unexpected career change. Jenny Lee Ryan is one of the few actresses who've made the most dramatic changes in their careers over time. Jenny officially entering show business as a dancer, performed with the cabaret for most of her teen years, and then decided to join Lionel Blair's dance troupe. And after years of building her reputation and portfolio as a dancer, she then decided to venture into acting in the 70s as she made her debut in the 1970 comedy film Husbands, where she played the role of Pearl Billingham. Now, a few years later, she was selected to appear in some other interesting projects. She later appeared in the British soap opera Crossroads as the character Vicki Wade, she spent most of the 70s establishing herself on TV and appearing on prominent TV shows. However, towards the end of the 70s, she also made an unexpected career change to become a Foley artist. She was still appearing in films while reproducing sound effects to be used in movies. But towards the late 80s, she completely switched to Foley work. The move was rather shocking and unexpected, but she's made the decision that she thinks is best for her. So which of these surprising facts about Ginny Lee Wright caught your interest most? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video in this series.